Hello everyone and welcome to my Sister Wives For You channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Christine Brown and Janelle Brown, stars of Sister Wives, discuss their feelings over the conflict between their ex-husband Cody Brown and his final wife Robin Brown. Christine 52 said to I think they're fine. An interview with Robin 45 and Cody 55 was published on Thursday, October 10th. I actually feel like that's probably normal couple relationship dynamics, concurred Janelle 55. The ex-sister wives went on to say that the shifting dynamics of their family were probably the root of the conflict in Cody and Robin's relationship. The first of Cody's wives to quit their polygamous household was Christine in November 2021. Mary Brown followed in December 2023, and Janelle in December 2022. Regarding her ex, whom she spiritually married in 1994, Christine remarked, You know that that's got to be really hard on him. What, two years and three divorces? Since it alters the nature of who you are as a person, their relationship will likely have some issues that they need to resolve. But no, I think they're all right. Together, they will be fantastic, I'm sure of it. I'm sure they're fine, Janelle added, echoing Christine's sentiments. Since they both favored polygamous unions, Cody and Robin have been candid about their marital issues on the reality show. They alluded to marital issues on August 29th, when In Touch revealed exclusively that they had listed their house for $1,650,000. The house was never sold, nevertheless, and In Touch exclusively verified in October that it was no longer for sale. A source exclusively informed In Touch that Cody and Robin, who were married in 2014, were having problems in their relationship because of the transaction. The insider disclosed in a piece published on September 3rd that, Robin may be Cody's last wife standing, but that looks like it's about to change. There are rumors that Robin wants to sell their Flagstaff house, which is why they put it up for sale. The reality star's relationship hasn't been the same since Mary, Janelle, and Christine left him. The source continued. The insider added, Robin and Cody but heads a lot and argue about trivial things that shouldn't matter. In essence, they have drifted apart. Robin never imagined this life. There are all the indications that a split is coming. In addition to the new dynamic in his marriage to Robin, Cody is also juggling a lawsuit against Christine. In September, the mother of six filed a lawsuit against her ex-husband seeking custody of their youngest kid, Truly Brown, and child support. Since Cody was never listed on Truly's birth certificate, Christine requested in the lawsuit that the court establish Truly's paternity at the age of 14. Christine also asked for a domestic relations injunction, which would prevent both parties from engaging in domestic violence, harassing each other, taking the kids on unusual trips without permission or court orders, terminating or changing services, and disparaging or humiliating the other party. Additionally, the request prohibits both parties from participating in certain financial actions, concerns, and behaviors. Christine Brown, star of Sister Wives, wanted to find love again after she broke up with Cody. She was sure, nevertheless, that she would never again practice polygamy. David Woolley was the ideal fit for her because of this. Fans will have the opportunity to see their romance as season 19 progresses. Christine knew David was the one when he told her he had no interest in polygamy. Get a preview of this week's new episode by reading on. Christine Brown is infatuated with her new partner. Christine Brown and David Woolley have been wed for more than a year. Fans are only now witnessing their love story though because Sister Wives is so far behind the times. Dave and I have gone out twice now. We look adorable together, the TLC actress says in a new clip. He's adorable. Christine continues by saying that she wanted to be as open as honest as she could with David. Fortunately, he also told her the truth. I told him everything my background in polygamy, Christine says in the teaser. I explained everything to him and he said, oh, all right. He added, I know about polygamy and my sisters live polygamously. And I asked, do you want to live polygamously like that? No, gosh, no, I'm not interested in that, he says. Naturally, the Sister Wives star found it extremely difficult to disclose her background to a new spouse. She questioned whether David would accept her history. Christine acknowledges I told him, but he was great with it. I was so nervous I didn't sleep at all the night before. Therefore, I didn't have to explain polygamy, which is fantastic because sometimes when you do, guys assume you're immoral and that you'll be interested in their open marriages. 
Her ex has completely moved on from the TLC personality. There is always a glimmer of doubt and grief after a divorce. However, now that she is free of polygamy, Christine Brown will never return. Christine and Janelle Brown were open about their living circumstances and Cody in a recent interview. He rarely takes personal responsibility for anything, according to the women who sat down with Access Hollywood to share their secrets. He constantly sought out someone else to place the blame on, which caused a great rift among his ex-wives. Are you eager to watch the on-screen romance between Christine Brown and David Woolley? Post your own views and opinions in the space provided below. For more Sister Wives news, continue to follow TV shows Ace Online. This Sunday night, see the new episode on TLC at 10 p.m. Eastern Time. When the event reportedly occurred in 2022, viewers of Sister Wives notice Cody wearing a coat that wasn't produced until 2023. Does the timeline mismatch have a plausible explanation? The footage is years old, yet Sister Wives Season 19 is now airing. Currently, viewers are seeing video that was taken in late 2022. The finale of the season is not yet known. However, it is anticipated to run for viewers until at least 2023. Fans have pointed out an anomaly in a recent episode that implies Robin and Cody taped the major disagreement months after the episode's date. For a long time, Cody Brown has implied that he is madly in love with Robin Brown. His other three marriages ended as a result of the reality. Now it appears that he and Robin also had a difficult time. Robin and Cody are shown fighting in their driveway about Cody's relationships in a recent Sister Wives episode. In the scene, Robin implies that he is losing respect for Cody, but he maintains that he must maintain his intense focus. He continued by saying that he is currently unable to even get things right with her. It's one of the first instances in which we've witnessed Cody and Robin actually dispute. The remainder of the show suggests that TLC recorded the video in late 2022. The argument may have been taped almost a year later, according to viewers. The argument between Robin Brown and Cody was probably captured on camera after it happened. The purpose of Cody and Robin's heated disagreement was to demonstrate the monogamous couple's difficulties, but viewers didn't buy it. After the show, fans immediately expressed their opinions on social media, claiming that the altercation appeared to have been manufactured. There may now be proof that they were right. A jacket is the first piece of evidence. The colorway of the jacket Cody is wearing in his confrontation with Robin wasn't available when season 19 was recorded, according to a Reddit user who is familiar with the brand. They point out that the colorway Cody is wearing in the scene was launched by Cool in the fall of 2023, around a year after the alleged fight. The particular color combination that Cody is wearing in the scene is still advertised on the company's website as a new color, even though the jacket model was launched years earlier. The product redesign that included the colorway was unveiled in September 2023. The coat costs $179 at retail. Other factors support the theory that the video was shot long after the remainder of the episode's plot. The scene also features Robin Brown, who seems smaller than in earlier sequences and has eyebrows that aren't quite in line with what we've seen so far this season. However, there are alternative explanations. The scene might have been filmed later, but it's just as plausible that it wasn't. There is a plausible explanation if the cool jacket is the sole piece of evidence. It's possible that the business sold a comparable color scheme years prior. For a number of years, the model has been part of the company's lineup. There are two possible explanations for why the sequence might have been res hot. According to some viewers, the sequence was inserted afterward to heighten the tension between Robin and Cody. The decision was likely made for a far more benign purpose. The argument might have happened in 2022, but the network had to request a reshoot because the video was in some way useless. Fans will probably never find out because Cody and Robin are not likely to remark on the matter. Regarding the theory, TLC has not responded. You'll need to brush up on a lot of legend if you only recently began watching Sister Wives following the drama of the separation. Level 1 Lore Mary's brother was Janelle's former spouse. Level 2 Lore Just before Janelle and Cody's wedding, Cody's father wed Janelle's mother. Level 3 Lore Robin is said to be compulsive about purchasing items from QVC. The sign on Robin's refrigerator is another. It's a rather deep cut from season 10. So don't worry if that doesn't seem familiar. However, 
When Janelle discusses how her children were treated at Robin's house when the family was still living together, fans saw a sort of throwback to it in season 19. Sister Wives star Robin has a notice on her refrigerator that said no one was allowed to take food. Astute watcher saw a typed up and printed out sign that read, Please ask Robin or Mindy before you take any food. Thank you. On Robin's refrigerator in season 10 episode 6. The prevailing view is that the sign was meant for the brown children, although there has been conjecture throughout the years that it might have been for the filmmaking team. Naturally, most people would agree that it's appropriate to establish boundaries on which resources belong to the entire family and which are designated for each of the 18 children. However, the note might not be entirely consistent with the picture of a large, contented family in which all four mothers are raising their children together. Janelle considers what life was like in those days in season 19. With Robin, there was always a very separateness, she explains. My children were like scolded if they would open up Robin's fridge. Many viewers deduce that Robin may have caused, or at least contributed to, the present family division since she appeared to want to hang on to her belongings and her connection with Cody more tightly than the other spouses did. All of the adults, and many of the kids, have been telling us for a number of years about the challenges the family encountered following Cody and Robin's marriage. Robin and Cody believe that Robin and her children were never really accepted into the family by the other sister wives and their offspring. From the beginning, Robin maintained a degree of distance according to Christine, Janelle, and to a lesser degree Mary. Additionally, viewers witnessed Robin gently reprimanding Isabel for consuming a bowl of cereal at her home. Another video of Robin and her seeming reluctance to share food is also going viral. It shows Robin gently reprimanding a little Isabel while she is eating a bowl of cereal at her residence. Isabel, you guys, this should be a snack, not a meal, she adds, taking Isabel's bowl and beginning to pour out part of the cereal. It goes without saying that the conversation with Isabel and the sign on the refrigerator, along with everything else on the show, are only glimpses into the lives of the family. Even though it's simple to make connections and draw conclusions, it's important to remember that there are many dynamics at work in a family of 23. In the face of intense fan criticism, did Sister Wives star Cody Brown remove his Instagram account? Unless it's to announce a divorce, he hardly ever publishes on the social networking platform. When Cody announced on Instagram that Garrison Brown had died in March 2024, his fans blasted him right away. So, is Cody taking a step back after a really difficult season 19? For further information, continue reading. In response to criticism, did Cody Brown delete Instagram? Many of the Brown children, as well as the OG3 wives, are quite active on Instagram. They provide their admirers with regular updates on their lives, pregnancies, and all other activities. Robin and Cody Brown, however, hardly ever communicate with fans. When he and one of his wives split up, Cody will write a note on how he is doing on Cameo. He frequently shares the same message, a copy and paste, with his late wife. Then, in March 2024, he made his last posting. It had to do with his ex-wife, Janelle Brown, and the death of their son, Garrison Brown. They knew they had to admit that their hearts were broken. Since he had been criticized for mistreating his kids on several blogs, he had disabled the comments. Supporters wanted to discover where Cody made mistakes, even though they had nothing to do with his children. In response to criticism, Sister Wives followers are now wondering if Cody deactivated his Instagram account. To discuss it, they created a Reddit topic and the original poster wrote this. I always visit Cody and Robin's Instagram accounts after an episode to watch someone post anything from 2019 just to make fun of them. I was disappointed to see today that Robin had disabled all commenting on her account and Cody had deleted his. Not surprising, to be honest. It's still unfortunate. It turned out that Cody Brown had blocked this individual on social media instead of deleting it. As a result, it appeared that he had deactivated his Instagram account. What was the response to his trivial behavior, then? First of all, Cody Brown is unable to update his bio, but he has the time to block others. Even though he only has one wife, it still states that he has four. In addition, he makes the blatantly untrue claim that he loves them all. Were followers astonished to find that he blocked the original poster, or are sister wives viewers no longer stunned by anything? Personally blocked by Cody Brown is now your user flair. Well done. Cody's Instagram is still active. Robin's as well. Comments are still welcome. 
Well, let's not rush things. It's possible that Cody's personal assistant, housekeeper, or nanny stopped you since he is a busy businessman and can't spend time with Savannah. Therefore, Cody's social media accounts are still active, but only for people who share his opinions and values. The way things are, people don't respect others. Do you find it surprising that he blocked people, or do you think that was just him venting his rage? Watch Sister Wives Sundays on TLC and share your thoughts in the comments section. Michael T. Padron, star of Sister Wives, always had gorgeous long hair. She enjoyed showing off her lengthy hair in fresh photos. Sometimes, whether she's on vacation or going somewhere with her kids, she wears her gorgeous long hair in braids. For the most recent social media posts, the TLC star also wears her hair loose. But after cutting her lengthy hair short, Michael T. shocked everyone. Her twin sons and a daughter are among the three children she has been parenting. Consequently, having three kids at home makes it difficult to manage such long hair. For the past few months, the reality TV star has been trying to lose weight. So she knew that something needed to change. What does she look like now? To learn more about Michael T's recent hair transformation, continue reading. Michael T, a sister wife, shares her honest opinions about having more children. Season 19 of Sister Wives will highlight Michael T Padron's pregnancy experience. She and her husband, Tony Padron, already have a daughter, Avalon. In the current season, the TLC couple has been thrilled to receive their twin kids. But Michael T. talked candidly about her intentions for her future child with Kristen. Hopefully, this is the last time I will ever knock on wood, she said. She was certain that this would be her final pregnancy. The TLC personality remained open to the possibility of adopting and surrogating children. Furthermore, after enduring all the suffering and anguish throughout her most recent pregnancy, Michael T. said, Pregnancy is miserable. It is literally awful. She felt secure in her choice. After all the stress of being a parent, has she cut off her hair? Sister wives. Michael T. gets a dramatic makeover by cutting off her long hair. Michael T. Padron, star of Sister Wives, always wore her long, thick hair. She enjoyed showing off her gorgeous long hair to her admirers. The TLC personality did, however, experience some significant life upheavals. Since the birth of her twin children, Michael T. has experienced remarkable weight loss. She just videotaped herself in a salon prior to getting her hair done. After she chopped them off, she showed her fans her dramatic makeover. Before chopping her hair short, the TLC star made her final appearance with her long hair. At the end of the video, Michael T. flaunted her new shoulder-length hair. While filming his wife on their balcony, Tony Padron was overcome with emotion. She described her new haircut as a shag when he asked about it. Finally took some personal time and got it chopped, Michael T. captioned the photo. The series viewers were astounded by Michael T.'s metamorphosis. They adored how drastically her appearance changed after the makeover. The reality TV star's head must be feeling a lot lighter, according to one fan, who also said, I'm positive it'll be easier to manage with the kids. Another fan asked whether Michael T. donated her hair. Others further contended that it was no longer a shag haircut. Janelle was enamored with the reality TV star's gorgeous features as well.